So I really love these trails because um, as you can see, it's literally like we're in the woods, like we're in the forest or something because um, all around us, there's just bush, you know, like uh, no signs of urban life. <laughs> um, and it's and it's pretty rare, especially when I take these discreet trails to run across any humans and other dogs. So <laughs> kind of like having this park to ourselves when we're in areas like this. And the dogs love it because it's pretty wild, um, as wild as it can get um, in an urban area. And so, you know, there's honestly lots of wildlife that trek here that we don't notice, right? But they definitely pick up on the scent. So I'm sure there's like rabbits and probably coyotes, voles, who knows what else. Um, but yeah, creatures are pretty good at hiding and camouflaging and coming out at night. So um, yeah, and like, I mean, Chewy is having a heyday exploring as usual. Hi, Chewy. I saw him for a split second. Um, but yeah, like it's just, it's kind of amazing. Good boy, Chewy. Right? And if somebody's going to tell me that <laughs> this is comparable to like an indoor setting where it's like a kennel or, you know, an indoor building um, for dogs to play, like, I'm sorry. But like, you haven't been out here to experience what it's like for these dogs. Like, the energy is so different. So even though, you know, they're not physically interacting with another dog, um, like, it just does wonders for their five senses, right? So, them exploring and running and chasing and sniffing and... Uh, walking over stuff, like just lots of little things for them to be aware of. Um, and yeah, it's, I mean, it's kind of like a little adventure. It's a mini, mini adventure. Every day we're out here at the, in the woods. I would definitely call these the woods. <laughs> Even though there's just patches of it at a time, but they're pretty big patches. And like I said, you know, there's uh, definitely wildlife that tracks here. That's why they're, there's so much to smell and take in. It's a great environment for them to just run loose, enjoy their freedom, enjoy their experience. Yep. I mean, this is kind of as good as it gets in Alberta or here in Edmonton. I know... You know, I sound like I love this place, which I do. But then I also remember when I'm in BC and I'm on their trails and their forests. And yeah, it's a little more amazing. <laughs> but uh, but this is what we have. And so this is what I'm appreciating. Um, the only thing I found when I was on the island was that their trails were pretty amazing. but there were not many that were off leash like uh, most of it was on leash and I think dogs have the best time and get the best exercise when they're off leash so you know so you can have 10,000 beautiful forests but if pups can't um, can't roam free in them uh, to me, there's not a point uh, for dog owners anyways. That's obviously <laughs> coming from a dog lover and a dog owner's point of view and a dog walker. Um, good boy, Chewy! Chewy's already way ahead. There's Maya. I don't know if you can see through the trees at all, but good boy! Good job, guys! Oh, they're both running back. How cute is that? You guys totally deserve a treat for that, hey? Okay, let's go have a treat. Let's go have a treat, guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at Maya.